So I'm struggling with this physics question for hours now. I just can't solve it. And we had it during our mock in physics, and I didn't solve it back then, and I don't know what to do. So I'm searching it online, and it's about finding a moment of inertia of a solid cone, which is fine if you want to spin it like that. Like, there is a standard answer for this. But they want to spin a cone like that around a completely different axis, and it's freaking me out. I can't find it. And actually, just now, I found it in step three, year 1998. I mean, what? I couldn't do step two. It is very dark in the archive center. I was almost sleeping because I don't want to revise for tomorrow's physics. Today is actually the last invigilating session of the year because apparently everyone is done with exams, apart from that case, yay! I'm done with exams because there are two more to go. However, I can't also say that I'm happy because the plan was that physics and math would bring my grade up from terrible Komsky papers. And let's say it won't. Um, physics just kind of flew past me, took my grade, took my awesome grade, and jumped straight out of the window. Um, well, it's not like everyone will get a first, and it's true, um, but of course, when you come from school, when you're like on the top of everything, and now suddenly you're like not on top, um, suddenly the, suddenly your self-esteem is not that high, let's say. They organized mock during, um, when was it, April, and they kind of concluded that the type of questions they made for section A were really difficult. So, you'd think that they would learn from their mistakes. Nope. I can't say none of the stuff that I revised came up, but, like, the stress that I've <laughs> had was not worth it, seriously. Um, the only two topics that I haven't revised came up, and it's not like you have a great choice and a variety of questions, so... That was terrible. The situation actually is pretty simple. I've just forgotten what it's like um, to actually learn something. And you think like, what? But it's, uh, it's a skill. Like, you have to know how to study effectively and no amount of books or YouTube videos or, I don't know, any courses would like, help you understand what it's like. Obviously there are those different techniques like um, somebody is like a visual, somebody likes to hear stuff, somebody is learning by writing, um, but it's not enough. You just have to know so much more about yourself and how you learn. And you think, how can somebody forget how to learn? But it's, <laughs> it's easy when you do what I did which is go from a Russian school when you actually learn stuff and then do the same thing during A-levels. Because basically it was two years of straight revision for me. And revision is always easier than doing it the first time. Um, so obviously I got amazing grades, which I'm not sure actually showed my abilities and my knowledge. I think they just showed that I remembered what I learned before, which is really sad, because now, when I am actually learning new stuff, I'm failing everywhere. Um, yeah, fun times. I liked how after A-levels, you could go on TSR, the student room, and rant about how terrible the exam went, and you'd get some support, because basically the whole UK wrote the same exam on the same day and if you were lucky to get 
um, like a famous exam board, then there'd be a lot of people ranting. Um, but now the only people you can actually talk to are people from your course. And you're almost in the same boat, so it's not really that representative. Um, but yeah, everyone says how terrible it went. But, you know, people have different standards for their own performance, so you never know what they actually mean. It was so much better than physics. Math is always nice, but you have to realize it's never gonna be like A-level again. Like, during A-levels I could have just had a mock paper in, during my lunch time in like 40 minutes and then had actually time to check it. Here, you don't go back to questions or if you do it's only because you're stuck on the rest of them. It was really difficult. It was more difficult than 2015 or any other paper, actually. And I know people say it every year, they're like, my year was difficult. I feel like Natsuki department are just messing with us this year so much. I feel like I could potentially have done maybe 60% or 70 But that's me being really optimistic. Like, if I subtract all the marks that I definitely didn't do, it will be like 78%. And then, like, let's be realists here. I'm not gonna get even the ones that I did do. People who do chemistry are now still there. So that math exam was from 9 to 12, and now they, they have some lunch, and from half past one to half past four they have chemistry. Our welfare team put some sweeties in everyone's pigeonholes. How amazing. <laughs> exam is in half an hour. I'm so exhausted and I woke up at 5 a.m. today for no particular reason other than my body telling me you're stressing me out.